This episode is brought to you by my one and only food and mood journal. This is an eight week food and mood journal and planner for beginners where you can track how food affects your mood, your hunger and your energy levels. Are you sick and tired of promising yourself to stop binge eating? Do you feel out of control with food and you just don't know why you overeat? You might have intense cravings leading to self-sabotage. My food and mood journal is the perfect tool to help you tune into your signals that your body sends you. And by tracking what you eat and drink will help you give insight on how food affects your moods. This is a eight week kickstart to mindful eating to help you identify the triggers that make you want to eat when you're not physically hunger. So this includes a food tracker, a mood and stress tracker, because we know that stress eating can also lead to overeating. We also have an eight week goals tracker with journal prompts and affirmations. You'll also track things like your water intake and exercise. It makes a beautiful gift for anyone who feels out of control with food. It's an easy to use journal and it will give you just the insights to help you get on the path to stop binge eating, emotional eating, or any other form of overeating. So get your food and mood journal today by clicking the link in the show notes. Thank you. Welcome to Beyond Overeating by Wholesome Lifestyle Project, the overeating podcast where I'll be showing up weekly to share with you what I've learned during my binge eating recovery, helpful tools such as yoga, mindfulness and energy medicine. My name is Stel and my purpose is to inform and ed educate so that you can fast track your recovery in healing your relationship with food and finally trust yourself around the peanut butter jar. Join me as I share top tips, my struggles and triumphs to help inspire or just entertain. Remember, there is nothing wrong with you if you can't stop overeating. That's why I'm here to guide you. Welcome back to another episode of the Beyond Overeating podcast by Wholesome Lifestyle Project. My name is Stel Kumpi. I'm a binge and emotional eating recovery specialist. And today I wanted to just welcome you if you are new to the show. I am just so excited to welcome you into this world that's of possibility, the world of knowing that there is a different way for you. And I am so excited to guide you along the way um, if that is you. And I wanted to start today's episode a little bit differently, um, a bit of sharing authentically about what's been happening in my world. And I must say that this is going to be quite a hard one to share because I have kind of been shying away and hiding um, and I thought it was time to, to share this. I knew I wasn't ready at the time to open up about it, but as this podcast is, it is the raw and honest truth. And um, that's what I wanted to share with you today. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that would just help you understand and help you feel um, connected to what I'm going through and possibly also I, I know and understand that this is probably what you are going through at this point in time. So, as I said, not an easy episode. There might be some tears. So just preface this. Um, this is more of an open sharing than loads of tips. But I just wanted to open up about my relationship with my, my body and it has not been an easy road for me. So I found myself in cycles of love-hate relationship with my body for many, many years. 
and it's been an up and down roller coaster. And last year, uh, in or oh, let's start again through my recovery, I really came to a space of acceptance of my body and where it is at. And uh, that is the place where I have been talking about body acceptance and just connecting with your body in a holistic way instead of judgment and just coming from a space of compassion. However, last year through, um, through COVID, I unfortunately reacted quite negatively to uh, a certain medication. And what transpired from that was that um, I struggled with chronic migraines for over three months. So in that time, I was pretty much in bed every single day. I was put on some migraine med medication, which was meant for people with depression and anxiety. And unfortunately, that medication made me feel quite depressed. And another side effect of this medication was weight gain. So despite my, my relationship with food, despite the way I was, my body gained weight. That is the fact, there is no meaning to it. However, I put some meaning behind that. There was nothing I could do about it. And unfortunately, what happened was I made that mean that now I am a failure. And all my old body stories came flooding back into my life. Absolutely all the meaning I've always tied to my body reconnected to myself. And I was grappling. I was really, really struggling with this concept of being authentic and speaking about acceptance, speaking about how our bodies are our only bodies. And, you know, we need to make peace with that, that's um, whatever that looks like for us. And that was a struggle for me. I couldn't get up in the morning and I couldn't face my audience, I couldn't face my clients. I really struggled because all of a sudden I had this internal struggle. And I wanted to just pause here and let you know that I get you. I get the feelings of being conflicted and being at war with your body. And I must say, I, to be honest, I kind of forgot what that was like. I forgot that that's absolute struggle and that's that absolute wanting to completely break away constantly from the body that we're in. And I think my experience just really helped me to reconnect with what you're going through and just coming from an understanding of where you're at and you know your relationship with your body and I'm not saying that I'll always understand your relationship and what you're going through and the reasons why you are there but with my clients I help hold a space for us to understand why that is there for you individually and how we can actually start bringing in compassion or kindness understanding and so that we can work towards peace with that body we don't have to 100 percent agree with what's going on but if we are not at peace unfortunately things fall apart and I saw that in my own experience again I couldn't focus on anything else except my body I wanted to rush in and start restricted dieting again, or every day I had to really, really stop myself from doing that because I knew what was coming. I had to stop myself from body checking and pinching my sides like I used to do in the past. 
I had to consciously be aware that those are the things and the behaviors that got me into my binge eating behaviors in the first place. But I have the awareness, I have, I have been on the other side. So what I wanted to share with you today is just getting into that awareness of, yes, our bodies are our bodies. And our bodies are not what our bodies are not, if that makes sense. And that is it. That is okay. And when we make peace with that, that is when we can start moving on and that is when we can start healing. And I know that is such, such a mind. <laughs> I don't know. It just blows my mind how I struggled with this. And to be honest with you, I'm on the, almost on the other side, but there are still one or two days where these things keep coming back. Now, I just wanted to let you know that I am here for you if that is what you are going through as well. If you wanted to have a conversation because you are struggling with your body, I'd love for you to hop onto my website, wholesomelifestyleproject.com, hit the chat function and send me a message and say, Stella, I'm struggling to be in my body. I'm struggling to accept where I'm at. I'm struggling to because I'm binge eating. I'm struggling with my behaviors. And I'm hoping that by authentically sharing my message that we all have body issues, we all have struggles. And if you listen to this podcast, we all have we all have issues with urges. And my urge was no longer to binge eat. My urge was trying to fix and, and pick at my body and be at war with my body. And that is okay. That's where, we, that's where you're at right now. And what's amazing, my friend, is that in this moment, yes, as uncomfortable as where you're at, there is a choice. And that's what I found. There is a choice. And that choice is you can stay where you are, you can stay in the struggle and at war and fight and fight and fight and binge and binge and binge. Or you can choose a different path. You can choose to authentically take charge of your life. And for you, that might mean reaching out and saying, Stella, I need help. For you, that might mean just taking the next step, whatever that is for you. And you decide. And what I'd like for you to do today is decide and decide. There is no going back, no matter how, no matter how scary the consequences are. Because my love, I know that you, if you are listening to this, you are wanting to make a change. And now you just have a choice. You can decide. And I'd love to know what that choice is for you. So send me a message again, wholesomelifestyleproject.com. Send me a message and tell me what that choice is. It doesn't have to be working with me. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, it doesn't have to be anything that I suggest, to be honest, but I'd like for you to make a choice. I want you to be empowered in your choice and your decision that today I decide that this is no longer my life. This is no longer plaguing me. Because when you make that choice, that is when you step into a new version of you, a version that this is possible that recovery is possible for you. Mm -hmm. 
And that is the most powerful decision you will ever make in your life. So I wanted to leave you with that today. I wanted you to just feel into what that might mean for you. So I know this is a lot of food for thought, excuse the pun, <laughs> but if you want to choose to make a difference and you're not sure where to begin, reach out to me or come and join the Wholesome Lifestyle Sisterhood. That is an excellent choice to make. If you are not sure, but I would like for you to choose. It's no longer I don't know or I'm playing victim. It's I'm taking charge of my life. That's it, my loves, for this week. I know this week is quite a heavy, um, heavy one to get through through the mind, but I am excited to see where you end up through this journey and this week. Sending you all my love, and I can't wait to chat to you next week. Bye, my angels. Thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to share this with all your friends. You can do this by adding this to your Instagram story and tagging me at Wholesome Lifestyle Project or by simply telling them about it. If you could rate and review on whatever platform you are listening, this will go a long way in helping me get this podcast out there so that I can share my message and help as many women out there struggling with food issues as I can. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram on Wholesome Lifestyle Project or connect with me on LinkedIn. My name is Estelle Heath and that's where you'll find me on LinkedIn. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.